Hello, in this week's video discussion, I'll be discussing George Marsden and his uh, book, The Outrageous Idea of Christian Scholarship from 1997. Um, some background information on the author. George Marsden is a noted American historian who has published a multitude of academic research focusing on the interconnected relationship between American society and Christianity, with emphasis on American evangelism and the role of Christianity in American higher education. He is well known for his award-winning biography of the famous colonial era New England minister, Jonathan Edwards. Marsden attended Haverford College, Westminster Theological Seminary, and Yale University, where he earned a Doctor of Philosophy in American History. He taught at Calvin College between 1965 and 1986, Duke Divinity School between 1986 and 1992, and the University of Notre Dame from 1992 to 2008. Um, at, when he was at the University of Notre Dame, he was the uh, Francis A. McEnay Professor of History. Uh, Marsden is currently an Emeritus Professor of History at Notre Dame. In 2004, he received both the Bancroft Prize and the Merle Curdy Award for his book, Jonathan Edwards, A Life, as well as the Grawemeyer Award in Religion in 2005. In his 1997 book, The Outrageous Idea of Christian Scholarship, Marsden argues that historians need to re-examine history through a Christian outlook. Marsden begins the book by bluntly stating that mainstream academia has been weighed in the balance and found wanting. Marsden states, quote, contemporary university culture is hollow at its core. Not only does it lack a spiritual center, but it is also without any real alternative. That was page three. He advises researchers to avoid dismissing religion as a strong force in historical events, human organizations, and individual conduct. Mar <clears throat> excuse me, Marsden's fervent goal is to reinstate Christian perspectives into the academic mainstream. Marsden's solution is, quote, to build and strengthen institutions that bring together scholars concerned with faith and learning. Uh, that was from page 102. Marsden's book is an intellectual critique of the secular establishment's bias towards Christianity, as well as a proposal for secular, secularism to fulfill its own multicultural values within academia. If variance and diversity in sex, socioeconomic class, color, ethnicity, sexual orientation, and critical approaches can be tolerated, why cannot Christianity be recognized as an alternative worldview? Thank you so much for watching this video, and God bless. Thank you.